Hi, I'm Anime Seed My Life, and this video is made possible by my imaginary girlfriend. She's always helping with my creativity. So I just wanted to talk real quick about how you can help local refugees uh, if you have uh, food stamps. You know, a lot of people uh, don't have much money. Um, they can't afford many groceries or anything. Just, I'm going to get to the groceries actually, um, but can't afford uh, many groceries. You get food stamps. Um, like me, I'm on Section 8 actually. I used to be uh, low income housing for like Section 48 or something, but because of what's going on the, with the uh, disease going around, and because I was being overworked, I couldn't really couldn't really do the job so I actually only work one job right now so because it was just too much I was being taken advantage of uh, being made to work more than I could um, but anyway that was that's a, that's a story for a different day but anyway here's how you can help people with disabilities or not disabilities that's another story here's how what you can help refugees in your city or town a lot of people a lot of, a lot of refugees will uh, have local businesses so that they can make money um, and a lot of times those are grocery stores. You can actually um, just use your food stamps at a lot of these grocery stores. A lot of them take food stamps. And realistically, you're not going to make that big of an impact. But you will be helping a little bit. So, you know, that's the way you can help. Now, I mean, honestly, some people ride the bus. So, it's not realistic. A lot of people uh, with food stamps don't have time. Or don't you know have the transportation abilities to get to some markets and you know you can't but if you can you know spend a few dollars of your food stamps at the Asian market you know just to give a little bit of money to the those that are uh, you know not doing so good and they're refugees that are trying to make it in your country but um yeah, I, like, I actually have a uh, Asian market for uh, Burmese, someone's Burmese, uh, like right next to my work. So I'm starting to, ask when I go on break, go over there, uh, buy a Ramune, and then when I get off work, I'm going to start going over there and buy something small and just do that food stamps regularly. So... Yep, give them a little bit of money to the refugees, and since I can't, I can't give the food away because of the uh, food stamp fraud. But you know, with with the food stamps, I'm actually giving a little bit of money into the refugee to the refugees. So that's one way. If you uh, are on government assistance, if you have food stamps, you can actually give to refugees legally. So yeah. Just want, to, just want to share that and encourage you that if you are capable of doing it, that you do it. I mean, obviously, some people can't afford it because they have kids or whatever. I have no kids, so I can't afford it. I can. And obviously, they don't have necessarily everything that you would normally have at, you know, Walmart or that kind of place. But you might be able to find something. So, I just want to mention that. Uh, thank you for watching. And... I ask that you consider uh, doing what I um, recommended.